contact player, I have Session Drummer, um, which is pretty cool because it has a whole bunch of like our studio drummer, not Session Drummer. It has Session Kit. Okay. Uh, we're going to go Session Kit. This is kind of what we want it to sound like. And this thing is cool because like the grooves in it are actually like pretty decent. Um, so I'm going to go dig through some grooves. Um, so I got this kit. Let's see how it sounds here. Um, let me turn on. Okay. Doesn't sound terrible. Um, we're gonna we're gonna do like uh, blues and country. This could kind of be like I mean really it's like indie but I don't know, maybe indie rock. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, I don't know. It sounds the same to me. Um, okay. But anyway, I'm going to dig through some grooves. I'm going to let this play. All right, it's playing on a weird beat, so I'm going to drag this out to five. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So we're gonna throw this in here. Um, so this took me 6,000 years to figure out um, how to get the MIDI from these grooves in here. So if you use Studio Drummer as well, if you look in this little box where it shows the groove, there's a little thing that looks like a, a fucking bullseye or something. I would have never in a million years figured this out if it wasn't for YouTube. But you grab this and this is how you get the MIDI out of it. So you just get this. And then you can drag the MIDI out like right into here, boom, just like that. All right, so I'm going to duplicate that over. And then I'm going to try to find a little fill that sounds like it would go in there. And I'm going to put that at the very end. So, um, yeah, let's see. Alright, we're just going to try them out one by one, and then I'm going to audition them while they're in here, so. Okay. So that's the first one. Okay, I don't like that one a whole lot, so we'll try the next one. And we're just going to try on the second half here. All right, it's a little bit busy for me. So let's try the third one here. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's see what it sounds like coming into the next phrase of that. It's a bit anticlimactic for me. I'm going to go into this next section of fills and we'll try another one. You can always tell by looking at it if it's going to be like 
Okay, that's not it either. All right, let's try this one. Come here. jazzy a little jazzy for what we're looking for um, let's try again okay uh, that's not terrible you know what it's not my favorite I want to find one that's like really close to what uh, what I want because I can still go in and edit the MIDI um, and make it a little bit a um, little bit more geared toward like what I want it to sound like so. Okay, that sounds like the end of the phrase. We want this to be like a transition fill. So um, I'm going to go on to the next category. Maybe we'll get some different ones here. You know what? That might not be too bad. Let's try that. Okay, yeah, um, I'm going to play with these toms a little bit, but that's super close to what I wanted to sound like. So, I'm going to make these get quieter as the toms go down. So it kind of fades out while the guitar is fading. Okay, cool. Uh, so I like that. We're going to stick with that because I like it. All right. Um, yeah. And then let's see. Well, we still need to pick out another one. Let's pick out another one for the second phrase. So we got a full 16 here. And then what's that going to put us at time wise? Uh, close to a minute minus four bars. Maybe. Okay. Let's pick out. We're going to pick out one more. Um, let's see this this category seemed to be good. Let's try that. It's kind of. Good. Okay. Cool. So there's a little bit going on there. Um, we got a couple different fills. Um, we just we didn't really have program drums. We just used preset grooves, um, which if you have contact player and you have session drummer, studio drummer, whatever the hell it's called, uh, that's an option. Definitely an option for like a good quick start if you just want simple drums like that. They're already EQ'd and mixed super well. Um, I mean, it's not anything super creative, but with this, I don't want to like get into anything super creative because this is like this is kind of like a less is more track to me. Like this, this guitar part is going to kind of carry the melody, and then we got the little piano in there just kind of backing it up, and then we want some like simple drums and simple bass. And we, I don't want to get it super boring, but I don't want it to be like anything that like stands out, which is kind of hard to do um, to find that balance. But that's what we're going to try to do uh, with this track. That's where my head's kind of leading me with this. Like I just left that guitar sample alone. I'm going to treat it like I have like a, you know, like if like this is just going to be whatever this background music is going to be. So um, let's hear what we got so far coming in here.
Okay. Um, oh my goodness. I don't think I have any acoustic guitar plugins because I play guitar. Um, 